I'm Dr. Tawny Silver. I originated from the Okanagan in British Columbia, and I'm a medical imaging associate professor here at the college. Veterinary medicine has allowed me to travel around the world for various reasons, whether it's conferences or people I know and, hey, let's go here, or, you know, it's just been really interesting in that respect. When I got out of veterinary medicine, like I said, I was going to be an equine veterinarian. Because of that, I actually started and got interested in some acupuncture, um, herbal medicine, chiropractics in my practice, in my practice life. And for me, I always strive for more. I want to learn more and want to learn more. And I was never really satisfied with, I only want to be an equine veterinarian. And that's where the road of becoming a specialist, a veterinary radiologist has actually played out. And so 10 years after I got, I graduated from veterinary medicine, I decided to, I wanted to specialize. And um, medical imaging was, was an opportunity that arose here at the Western College of Veterinary Medicine. As I reached third and fourth year, I became highly interested in imaging. Ultrasound was really coming into fashion. MRI was very new and it's an exciting thing. It's our one look inside, you know, it's our ability to see from inside out and we can't, because animals can't speak for us and they can't tell us necessarily where the pain is or what's going on and so that that whole concept was really intriguing to me and the and so in that respect I quite enjoyed the rotation and that when I was on and we have in our fourth year program students are on various rotations through the hospital which allows them to experience medical imaging large animal surgery small animal surgery small animal medicine small animal surgery. Like there's all sorts of different areas that they can, we have exotics, we have now rehabilitation, all those things in here. And so it allows us to go, hey, I don't know anything about this. This is what it's about. And so that experience in my fourth year really directed me to, even though I didn't go out right away and become a, a radiologist, I kind of hung, hung on to that going, this is where I want to go. Because we're in the building, we have an opportunity that if there is a really interesting case, we can bring that case right to the first years. It, um, and we can do that through whether they go on a quote unquote field trip or they come in, they do behavioral stuff, they do animal handling skills right away in first year. I, as a radiologist, we can take our images from any case in our system. And because the system, the PAC system, what we call it, is d um, dispersed through the college, I can pull that into the classroom right away. And so, I could see something this morning, have a lecture that day and say, hey, we're talking about that. Let's bring that case in and let's talk about something that is really relevant. And I think that really helps students because it's like, it's not just a textbook, right? This brings it, this is real. You need to think about this because this might be you in a year or two or next week, depending on what year they're in. And so absolutely being in the same building as the teaching hospital is, is invaluable. I mean, WCVM is very fortunate. and. Western Canada is very fortunate. There's a lot of universities in the world, they don't have these kind of facilities. And so their students come from various countries in Europe or other countries around the world to get practical experience. To go back to, uh, to learn something new, it refreshes your career, it refreshes your perspective. Um, it, it, we are always learning, but it gives you a new angle. I mean, it's totally motivated me again. In, and so in that respect, at any stage in your career, that's the fun thing about veterinary medicine and um, that we can go back.